So they, they are still besieged by the elves. And yeah, and the elves can't get in, but the dwarves can't get out. And now they are almost finished with the scepter. But to finish, to actually finish, they will have to leave. So. Mm -hmm. What the hell? So Durston is got very twisted by the ruby. I'm afraid so. Yep. Okay, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. What not really nice at all. But uh, yeah, the, the gates are still open and they still have to get out. And there's a cave they could try moving to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they are aiming to lose the elves inside the cave. And it's a plan at least. It might work, it might not. Right, and he can't move fast, so he has to go another way. He, like the dwarves go no northeast, uh, the uh, human goes no uh, southeast. There, I have no idea how the hell he's supposed to do that. Um, I will try. So yeah, they, they convince him by... Someone has to tell the, 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 the humans about the whole thing. I think my best bet is of course not go getting through them. But like this, going on the other side of the river. And then try to... To... Well, do something. And only Rukno has to move this, so I can technically recruit a couple of units, lock them, and yeah, help Rukno getting past them, to get past them. I will have to get a couple of Griffin Riders though, to protect him against those, because he has a not quite as a good chance uh, as the Dwarves have. I'm going for sentinels and stalwarts to, well, stall the enemies. And we'll see how that works. If that works even. Right, and when the elves try to attack uh, Alanin and the griffins, the, the, they will have to cross the river and that means they, they can just tear them apart. Pretty much. Stalwart. Yeah, and then maybe those two. Yes. Let's go. It's kind of funny how he say, says that in the northeast the uh, uh, elvish girds are the weakest. I mean, it's technically true, there are no girds there. But on the other hand, those are still pretty strong. They're the ones blocking my way. That didn't work at all. Damn it. And let's do my best to remove those elves. My, let's say, sort of big advantage is that the elves will have to move uh, through the caves to arrive, which gives me a pretty good chance at, well, not getting caught. At least it's gonna stall for time for sure. Mm. 
Not to mention that a couple of them are going for my griffins instead. Funny how they deal almost no damage at all. I have to reach the south or east of the river, so I might have to. Maybe if I do this, perfect. I'm east of the river and I'm gone. Now I just have to get those griffins out of there again. <laughs> I. I I actually thought I had to go to the go here icon, but if I don't have to, that makes things a bit easier, of course. Just have to get this one out now. Whoops. So, remove these enemies, as many of them as possible. Can reach, that's great. And move on. Then healers, I don't want for healers to survive if possible. Uh, but if, if I have no choice, of course, um, I'd, I have focus on enemies instead of taking... instead of attacking all of them at once. Like this. Ouch. Okay, so this one has to die, so this one can fly free, and I, one of those th those three I gonna focus this one. Maybe this one will finish them off. Nah, well. Oh, that was way too close. Like, see, one HP left. Damn. At least he has now a clear line to the to the cave. So if I don't make it this time, I'm gonna restart by uh, not sending any griffins with Alan in because he doesn't need them. Instead, just focus on moving him over there. So like this, and now I just have to stop them from moving a bit. I, like, not exactly stop them from moving, but stop them from moving over there. That's the important part. As long as I can achieve that, I'm safe. This one is the most annoying because he could get over there and block me. Same for this one, actually. If I do it like this... Nope, that doesn't help either. We'll see. Oh, I totally forgot the griffins, but at the same time, it's kind of amazing how they didn't die. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, forgetting important units that are surrounded is a fast way to lose the scenario. Like, technically, that's true for this one as well, but he was only loyal, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Yeah, that was fair. I think that's a good moment to end it for today. I, like, everything works with the, with the new setup, and so I can just start tomorrow again. So that's not a problem. See you next time, and thanks for watching so later on, and for the mic test feedback stuff.